Good morning. Good morning. I call the May 27, 2022 meeting of the return board for, 20, for the 2022 primary and special election to order. First, I will preserve the order and decorum of these meetings. Everyone in attendance should be on notice that shouting out or interrupting the proceedings will not be tolerated. Those who violate this will be asked to leave. The Sunshine Act permits anyone attending a public meeting to object to a perceived violation at any time during the meeting. If you choose to do so, please succinctly state your objection. Objecting is not an opportunity for speech making. We will now move to public comment. Commenters shall state where they live or if they are not a resident of Philadelphia, that they're a Philadelphia taxpayer. Or, since this is the return board, which candidate they represent. Public comment is not an opportunity for dialogue or Q&A. It's public comment. A chance for you to tell us what you think. Each speaker shall have two minutes. However, I may extend this time at my discretion. All public comments must be relevant or germane to board business. Finally, it is my responsibility to preserve the order and decorum of these meetings. As such, profane slander, discriminatory or personal attacks will not be tolerated. Anyone here representing a candidate to offer argument on, on one of the ballot categories, they should wait until the category they wish to make argument on is called later in the meeting. Anyone wishing to offer public comment at this time, please step forward. Hearing none, we will now proceed to email public comment. We will move to Commissioner Seb Bluestein for a report on pu email public comment. There were no email public comments as of 9.45 a.m. this morning. Thank you. I have an amended agenda item. The staff failed to include Garrett Dietz's presentation today on the mail-in ballots whose applications were received by the Philadelphia Board of Elections requesting for ballots to be sent to P.O. Box 54705 or 2845 South 16th Street in the original agenda posted 24 hours before the start of this meeting. The mistake was discovered and the agenda was corrected around 2.30 p.m. yesterday. For that reason, it was not included in the agenda posted to the website prior to 24 hours before the meeting. Therefore, I would like to make a motion to amend today's agenda to add Garrett Dietz's presentation on the mail-in ballots whose applications were received by the Philadelphia Board of Elections requesting for ballots to be sent to P.O. Box 54705 or 2845 South 16th Street and that the agenda that was posted on the website yesterday at 2.30 p.m. be considered the amended agenda. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Mr. Spear. Uh, Thank you. We can proceed. The motion uh, to add the mail ballots added to the agenda has passed unanimously. Thank you. I call on Garrett Dietz to present on the mail in ballots whose applications were received by the Philadelphia Board of Elections requesting for ballots to be sent to P.O. Box 54705 or 2845 South 16th Street. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, Garrett. Uh, our first category is the uh, original ballots that were mailed to PO Box 54705. We have two ballots in this category. Thank you. The actions of an individual and his I'm sorry. Who are the voters, Garrett? Oh, uh, unfortunately, I don't. I don't have those voters with me. I sold the two of those ballots were returned.
I apologize. One of those ballots was voided, so we only have one uh, ballot in this category of ballots originally mailed to PO Box 54705 that were returned. The actions of an individual and his canvassers may or may not be illegal. That is for the DA to work out. It is certainly not something that we would like to see anyone repeat. A third party inserting themselves into the delivery of mail ballots is not expressly prohibited by the election code, though I was very concerned that the voters reporting that they did not receive their requested ballot and they were unaware that they were requesting them to be delivered to the PO box. What we have found in this matter is that there is no evidence that these voters did anything wrong and they would like their votes to count. If someone did not knock on their door, they wouldn't be in this situation. The rest is up to the DA. I motion that we count the original ballot now to PO Box 54705. Madam Chair, will there be recognized? Commissioner Bluestein. Uh, first, I would just like to thank the staff for the professional way in which they handled this very unique situation. Uh, secondly, having reviewed all publicly available information, the testimony from yesterday evening and the available documentation that the board has in, in its possession, I second the motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Motion to count original ballots mailed to P.O. Box 54705 carries unanimously. Proceed, Garrett. Okay. The uh, next category is uh, the original ballot mailed to 2845 South 16th Street, and we have one ballot in this category. Is there anyone here on, on behalf of a candidate that wishes to offer comment on this category? Hearing none, I vote aye. I make a motion that these ballots should be counted. Original ballots mailed to 2845 South 16. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. Motion to count original ballots mailed to 2845 South 16th Street has passed unanimously. Please proceed, Garrett. And our final category uh, is replacement ballots um, that were mailed to applicants, and we have five received ballots. Is there anyone here representing a candidate that would like to speak on this category? Hearing none, I make a motion that we count the replacement ballots mailed to applicants. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. Replacement ballots mailed to applicants. The motion to count passed unanimously. Please proceed. Uh, and that is it for my categories. I will now call on Kevin Richardson to present on provisional ballot sufficiency and challenges. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, the first item that we have is uh, the staff determined that we have one ballot where the signature does not appear genuine. I'd like to present the ballot to the board. Hold on, uh, Madam Chair, excuse me. I can't uh, hear you. Is it possible we can turn the microphone? Is that better, sir? Can you repeat yourself in the mic? Thanks, Kev. Uh, the first category we have is a signature does not appear to be. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, the first category we have is for people we looked up that are not insured. For those category, for that number, we have 133 ballots. Is anyone here representing a candidate 
to offer an argument or comment on this category? I make a motion that these ballots are not counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. Kevin, please proceed. The second category we I'm have. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The motion for provisional sufficiency, not ensure those ballots are, will not be counted. The second category we have is for ballots we determine the voter is registered out of town. For those we have 94. Is there anyone here representing a candidate to offer argument on this category? Seeing none, I make a motion that these ballots are not counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. Provisional sufficiency. Registered out of county ballots will not be counted. Proceed. Uh, for the third category, we have the staff determined that the voter was canceled and is not registered in the sure system. Is there anyone here representing a candidate to offer argument on this category? And how many ballots are there, Kev? 62. 62? Yes. Thank you. Hearing none, I make a motion that these canceled ballots do not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. Aye. The ballots that are, uh, the records canceled will have been voted to not count. Proceed. For the next category, we have no signature by the voter on the ballot. How many? Oh, I'm sorry, four. Correction, six. Six. Is there anybody here representing a candidate to offer argument on this category? Hearing none, I make a motion that the new signature ballots do not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The ballots containing no signature will not count. Please proceed. The next category is for when the signature does not match or appear to be genuine by the voter. We have one on all for the ballot for the board to make a decision. Thank you. Now, After reviewing this ballot, I make a motion that this ballot does not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. No. The, mo the motion to count uh, the ballot with this, to not count the ballot that the signature does not match has passed two to one. That ballot will not count. 
Please proceed. Okay, the next category is where the staff determine that the voter voted in person. How many? Seven. Anybody here on behalf of a candidate to offer a comment on this category? Hearing none, I make a motion that these votes do not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. These ballots where the voter has voted in person will not count. Please proceed. The next category is where the voter has already voted by mail or absentee. We have two. Is there anybody here from a candidate or committee wishing to offer comment on this category? Hearing none, I vote. I make a motion that these ballots should not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Deal. Aye. I vote aye. Mr. Spear? Aye. The ballots that have been determined to be voted by mail or absentee have been, will not count three zero. Kevin, please proceed. Okay, the next category is where we open up the declaration envelope and the secrecy envelope and there was no ballot inside. How many? Seven. Is there anybody here from the representing a candidate to offer argument on this category. Hearing none, I make a motion that the ballots with no ballot do not count. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Gildy. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. Aye. The ballots with no ballot will not count. So that vote is unanimous. Please proceed. The next category is where there was no ward in division written on the envelopes. And you have no idea where they came from or what polling location they came from. So how many of those? 35. Okay, since this um, is a technical issue that should be, in my opinion, uh, the poll worker should be doing that, or I don't, don't think that the voter should be penalized. So I, I make a motion that these ballots should be counted. Madam Chair, will that be recognized? Commissioner Bluestein. Kevin, are there any questions about the chain of custody of these ballots? Did they come directly back to one of our facilities on Elect Day? Yes, they were here or Delaware and Spring Garden. I second the motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Gilly. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. Aye. The motion to count no war division on envelope. These ballots will count. The vote was unanimous. Please proceed. And the last category is where the ballot was not enclosed in the secrecy envelope. We have 116. Kevin, were these voters determined to be registered voters? Yes. These voters signed the affidavit, correct? Yes. So the only thing wrong with these ballots is that they are missing a secrecy envelope, right? Yes. Is there anyone here that wishes to ar offer argument on this issue? As you know, this is my issue. We went through this the other day with the mail ballots. I believe that the secrecy envelope should be eliminated, but this is a different issue. Unlike the mail ballots where the voters are filling them out at their kitchen table, these voters are doing this process in a polling place. The judge of election should be instructing them to place their ballot in the secrecy envelope. So this is a poll worker error that we should not be punishing the voter for. Furthermore, the difference here is the provisional ballots are outlined in federal law, the Help America Vote Act, the Help America Vote Act, and this is a federal election. State law determines if someone is eligible to vote. If we determine these voters to be registered and that they signed the affidavit and that they have not already voted in another way, then we must count them. Pennsylvania law has extra hurdles 
that putting a ballot in a secrecy envelope has no bearing on whether or not someone is qualified to vote. I therefore think PA law is in conflict with the Help America Vote Act, and I motion that we count the naked provisional ballots. Like with the mail-in ballots, I believe that the law should be changed so that we can count naked ballots. However, absent a change in the law or an order from the court, I believe that unfortunately we are not able to count these ballots. So I make a motion that we do not count the ballots not enclosed in the secrecy on the vote. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Nay. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Uh, I'm Madam Chair, if I may, before I cast my vote. As much as I would like to count these uh, ballots, unfortunately, due to state law, we cannot uh, count them. And this is one of the statutes in the state law that doesn't make sense. Just like we can't do canvas uh, with our ballots. With that being said, uh, our vote is high. Ballots not include enclosed in the secrecy op provisional ballots not enclosed in the secrecy envelope will not count. The vote was two to one. Kevin, please proceed. And we have one last uh, category. We have a chain of custody issue for 15 ballots that just appeared this morning. Is there anybody here to make an argument on this issue? I make a motion that these ballots uh, with the chain of custody issue be not, not be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey? Aye. I vote aye. Mr. Sevier. I vote aye, but I do have a concern that possibly maybe we may have to amend the agenda for that since it's budget on it. Maybe we could do it retro. In regard with the since it wasn't on the original uh, agenda, it would just add it. Kevin, would this be yeah. this number 15? Added, right? You said this is just add it. Is that correct, Kevin? No, I didn't add any. I'm just, you said you just received it. That's what I thought I we received. Yeah, we received 15 ballots. Is it number 15 under the challenges or is it something different? No, it's something completely different. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. This issue just came up this morning. So, because this issue just came up this morning, I make a motion to agend amend the agenda to list this category. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. Aye. A motion carries. Now let's revisit the motion on the ballots that we have an issue with the chain of custody. I make a motion that we do not count the chain of custody ballots. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The ballots with the chain of custody, the provisional ballots with the chain of custody issue will not be counted in it. That vote was unanimous. And an amended agenda will be posted after the meeting. Thank you. Kevin, please proceed. Because we have left the challenges. Yes, thank you. Proceed.
Uh, the first uh, challenge on the list is uh, RAI, RAI, which is not insured, canceled, or registered out of county. How many? Is there anybody here that would like to offer a comment on this category? Hearing none, I vote that if I make a motion that the ballots that are not insured, canceled registration, not be counted. Commissioner Dilley, that we recognize. Commissioner Bluestein. Kevin, for these challenges, did the staff look them up in the system to see if they actually are registered? Yes, they did. Are these individuals registered or are they not? No. Is everybody really registered out of county or not registered? So we received challenges on these ballots that the staff would have determined should it have counted anyway. Correct. Second the motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. Aye. Provisional ballots, non insure, canceled registration. Registered out of county will not count. That motion passed unanimously. Please proceed, Kevin. The next category is WWD voted in the wrong division. We have three. Is there anybody here to offer comment on this category? I make a motion that these ballots be partially counted uh, as per their uh, registration, as their registration dictates. Madam Chair, may I be recognized? Commissioner Bluestein. Kevin, like the other category, uh, is it accurate that these individuals are registered out of the division? Yes. And the staff would have done a partial count on these without the challenge? Yes. Right. Second motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The ballots that the provisional ballots that were voted in the wrong division will be provisionally counted. That motion passed, partially counted. That motion count carries three to zero. Please proceed. The next category is SM or signatures do not match or appear to be genuine. We have seven. Sorry, eight. Okay, I offer, offer we'll, to the board we'll for review the this. Thank you. We are going to uh, review these one. I want to make a motion based on Is there anyone here to offer argument on this category? I make a motion that the ballot of Brian Robinson should be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please pull the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye.
The motion to, to, to count the ballot of Brian Robinson signature don't, did not, uh, has, the vote to count has passed three to zero. That vote will count, thank you. After reviewing the ballot and the sure record of Kyle Ray, I vote that this ballot, I motion that this ballot should be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The ballot of Paul Ray will be counted at a vote three to zero. Please proceed. After reviewing the envelope and the sure record of well, it's so right, the writing is so by who mark this ballot shall be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the vote. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. All right. Motion to count, mushroom. I'm sorry. Marco Shen ballot, that motion carries three zero. After reviewing the envelope of Nicholas, Nicholas Varello and the sure record, I make a motion that this ballot be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye.
The motion to count the ballot of Nicholas Varello has passed three zero. After reviewing the ballot and the SUA record, uh, Frederick Bearden, I make a motion that this ballot be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The motion to count the ballot of Frederick Bearden has, pa has passed 3 to 0. After reviewing the ballot and the envelope and the sure record of Cynthia Bell, I vote that this ballot, this vote be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. The ballot of Cynthia Bell will be counted by a vote of three to zero. After reviewing the envelope and the sure record, I make a motion that the vote of Ashley Farnsledeff be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The motion to count the vote of Ashley Fadenschaffer has passed three to zero.
after reviewing the envelope and the sure record, I vote that the ballot of Stephen, I have motion that the ballot of Stephen Dooner be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sapir. All right. The motion to count the vote of Stephen Dooner has passed unanimously. Please proceed, Kevin. Okay, the next uh, category of list is number seven, where the, an absentee or mail-in ballot was sent to the voter. We have 10. So in this category, an absentee or a mail, well, first of all, is there anybody here that would like to speak on this category? So to be clear, this category is absentee or mail-in ballot was sent to the voter and there was no ballot returned to us? That is correct. I make a motion that these ballots, um, where a ballot was sent to the voter, but the, but the ballot was not returned, these uh, ballots should be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Healy. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The motion to count uh, the, the ballot, the provisional ballots where an absentee or mail-in ballot was sent to the voter but not returned has passed unanimously. Percy. I'm sorry, Trump. I had commissioner. We just didn't have any no signature uh, challenges for the uh, well, well, challenges for no signature. I just jumped ahead there. I apologize. So there are ballots. The category number four ballots were no signature. There were no challenges. There were no challenges. Number five. Right, I'm missing poll worker signature. Yes, we have eighteen. Is there anyone here that wishes to offer comment on this category? Hearing none. Um, so these, these were uh, provisional ballots that were completed by the voter at the polling place that are missing the poll worker signature, correct? correct? So that would be a poll worker error, not a voter error, correct? That's correct. I make a motion that these ballots be counted. Madam Chair, we'll be happy to Commissioner Bluestein. Kevin, are there any questions about chain of custody of these ballots? As in, did they go straight from the polling place to one of our facilities? That's exactly what happened. I second the motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The motion to count the ballots that are missing the poll worker signature has passed unanimously. Number six, Kev? Number six, there are no challenges. We've already covered number seven and number eight. We have voted in person as a challenge. There are three ballots in that category. Is there anyone here wishing to offer comment on this category? Kevin, did the staff determine that these voters did not vote in person? Yes. I make a motion that that these yeah, that these ballots be counted as the voters did not vote in person. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. 
I vote aye, Commissioner Sabir. The motion to count the ballots of uh, the challenge ballots of the voted in person, not voted in person, passed unanimously. Let's proceed. We have no challenges for number nine, no challenges for 10, no challenges for 11. Number 12, we have no reason for a ballot stated, which means there. The uh, reasons for issuing a mail-in ballot, or, I'm sorry, provisional ballot was not checked at the bottom of the left of the- uh, Is there anyone here to ballot. offer comment on this category? So these provisional ballots were completed by the voter at the polling place? Yes. So the reason not stated would be a poll worker error? Yes. I make a motion that these ballots be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. The motion to count the ballots that had no read, the provisional, the challenge provisional ballots that had no reason stated to be counted, passing on. We're going to take a two minute break. Like sands through the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Proceed, Kevin. Yeah, my power discussion, we're going to have to revisit some of these categories. Uh, if we go to number nine, we had an uh, absentee where actually was a mail in ballot that was returned for a voter. The staff concurs with that. So can you repeat the category again? It's number nine. At the absentee or mail-in ballot return. They, they did have mail-in ballot that we determined was returned. Thank you. Is anybody here to offer comment on this category? Hearing none, I make a motion that this ballot not be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Aye. The motion to not count the mail and the, the vote where the mail and belt was returned has count has carried three zero. That belt will not be counted. Please proceed. Uh, for category number 10, uh, the, the mail and ballot was returned but not signed. So they would go to vote a provisional. So they, so they, the, this voter received a mail-in ballot, returned it unsigned, it was canceled. They showed up at a polling place and voted provisionally. That's correct. And their mail-in ballot has not been counted. That is correct also. Is there anybody here to offer a comment on this category? Hearing none, I make a motion that this ballot be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Spear. The motion to count this ballot where the mail in ballot was returned on sign and the voter voted uh, provisionally has carried three to zero. This ballot will count. Please proceed.
We have a category 11. Uh, we have one mail and ballot that was returned with the secrecy envelope and the voter vote permission. So this voter, is there anybody here to make comment on this category? So Kevin, this voter applied for a mail-in ballot, received a mail-in ballot, returned it to us without a secrecy envelope, then went to vote, that ballot was canceled? It was rejected. Yes. Rejected. And that voter went to the polls and voted provisionally? That is correct. And there, there was no count on the mail ballot? No. I make a motion that this ballot be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. The motion to count the ballot of the voter who returned a ballot with no secrecy envelope but then voted provisionally shall be counted. That motion passed unanimously. Please proceed. Madam Chair, can I ask because the record clarity? You previously testified that it wasn't any of these ballots to zero. Now there's one for each one, is that correct? There was multiple challenges. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, I got just one for the record. That's it. Proceed. Okay, so I guess we can go ahead to number 13 with the wrong address. We have 12 of those. Okay. Which is the wrong address, I would assume that they mean they're registered at a different address in which they stated on the declaration envelope. Is there anyone here wishing to offer comment on this category? Have another voters registered to vote? Yes, they are. I make a motion that these ballots be counted. Not sure what we're Commissioner Bluestein. Kevin. For the ballots where they wrote the wrong address, were they still in the correct precinct, or would some of these be partials for some polls? They're all going to be partial, only because of the warden division split. Commissioners, if I may, I will amend my motion. I motion that these ballots be partially counted uh, to reflect their warden division. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Aye. These ballots with the wrong address will be partially counted. This motion carried unanimously. Please proceed. Okay, the next uh, category is wrong party, which means they voted, they thought they were Democrat. Not every Democratic ballot, even though they're registered Republican, and vice versa, or not affiliated as well. Is anybody here that wishes to offer argument on this category? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, is there anybody here to offer comment on this category? I make a motion that these ballots, uh, wrong party, be partially counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye, Commissioner Steele. Aye. The motion to vote, to partially count the the ballots of the voters who were uh, got ballots for the wrong party to be partially counted has passed unanimously. Please proceed. In the next category is a chain of custody issue. We have four ballots. Is there anybody here wishing to offer comment on this category? Hearing none. 
we know the issue on these ballots? There is no chain of custody issue that I'm aware of. Uh, hearing none, then I make a motion that these ballots be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Gill. Aye. I vote aye, Commissioner Spear. Aye. These ballots that were challenged for a chain of custody, chain of custody issue where no chain of custody issue was determined have been voted to count unanimously. Please proceed. Uh, the next category is uh, unknown polling location as a reason. I believe it's one of those. Is there anyone here to offer comment on this category? I motion that this ballot should be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Uh, Kevin. Yes, sir. No, how many ballots were there? One. I vote aye. The motion to count the ballot of the original ballot that was challenged uh, for unknown polling location as the reason this, this motion carries unanimously, this vote will be counted. Please proceed. And the next category is a party change. Is there anybody here to offer argument on this category? Was there a party change? I'm not clear what that challenge actually is, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I make a motion that this ballot be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Kevin, uh, how many of these ballots were in this category? I'm not sure. Uh, hold on. I didn't see them. The challenge to the provisional ballot listing the reason it's party change, these votes will be counted. This motion carried unanimously. Please proceed. Next uh, category is unclear reason, which I believe is quite similar to number 12. I think that's already been addressed. Is there anyone here to offer comment on this? argument on this category. Yeah. So because these I make a motion that these ballots be counted. Second. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Sabir. Kevin, do we know how many within this category? We're not many ballots in this category. Well, there's no clear reason, same as number 12, whatever I stated for that. So, how about I? The motion to count these ballots for unclear reason that were challenged as these ballots were counted unanimously. And the last category is name not listed as a reason. Kevin, just for a point of clarification, these challenges that we were going through, they were challenges that were brought to a, that people challenged are why they were here observing they made these challenges, correct? Yes. And some of these ballots have multiple challenges. Correct. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that for everybody so they knew what was going on. So is there anybody here uh, to offer argument or comment on the challenge ballots name name not listed hearing none i vote that these ballots be counted i mean i motion that these ballots be counted i'm sorry commissioner bluestein kevin for this challenge are they saying that the name of the voter is not on the envelope is the name of the voter on the envelope every voter has would have to be on the envelope, yes. Is, the envelope, elected. is the envelope also signed? Yes. Second motion. Commissioner Bluestein, please call the roll. Commissioner Dealey. Aye. 
I vote aye. Commissioner Sevier. Uh, Kevin, uh, are you registered? Yes, sir. And do you have a number for this category? Nothing at one right here. So, I vote aye. The motion to count uh, to, to challenge provisional ballots for name not listed. This, these votes will count by vote of 3 0. Just to be clear, um, the categories that we went just went through, they were categories uh, that were brought to us by challenges. So uh, people that were here observing challenged provisional ballot lookups. Uh, but however, um, as we see through this meeting, nobody that made a challenge offered any argument on those challenges. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Commissioner Bluestein, do you have any items to be added to the agenda? I don't have any items to add to the agenda, but I would like to say, first and foremost, thank you again to the staff for the way they handle these provisional ballot challenges. Also, I would like to thank the parties and campaigns that were here. They've been very respectful to our staff. I would like to add, though, that in the future, it would be worth the candidates and parties looking at the frivolousness of what they are challenging before they make these challenges. It does take up a lot of time for our staff to review these challenges. And as you can see, a lot of them are not really relevant. Commissioner Sabir, do you have any items to be added to the agenda? Uh, yes, I would just like to thank uh, the service members who service our country. And everybody to have a uh, safe, blessing uh, Memorial Day weekend. Thank you, Commissioner. If I may, I would just like to uh, say that we know we noticed there was uh, a little road work, emergency road repair that was being done at uh, Red Line in the Boulevard this morning. Uh, we, we are sorry for that unforeseen circumstance. I would like to uh, point out the, the wonderful uh, response we got from the, the gas works uh, and the streets department and the Office of Emergency Management who really um, answered the call, my frantic call this morning. Uh, so I'm grateful to them and my apologies uh, to the public who had any issue uh, in getting here. It was an emergency repair that, you know, had to had to happen, um, and we, we did whatever we could to ensure access to the building. I would also like to say um, that the work that, this, that our employees, that the staff is doing right now is just incredible. This is the, and I cannot say enough um, just for their work ethic and their professionalism. And I just echo Commissioner Bluestein's statement uh, that, you know, while, you know, it certainly is the right of anybody to challenge a provisional ballot, you could see uh, right here at the meeting the time that it takes, but it also uh, takes a lot of time from the staff that have to um, go and, and investigate these challenges and, and to not offer testimony to back up a challenge that you made, you know, really makes me wonder um, if, the, if it's worth the investment. Um, however, uh, in the future, I would just ask that you consider um, the the time that it is and the burden that it's putting on our staff um, to do these frivolous these frivolous challenges. And I would also like to echo the statements of uh, my commissioner Commissioner Omar Sevier, and, and you know, grateful and thankful for all of our service members. And we have so much to be fortunate for in this country. And one of the greatest things we have to be fortunate for is this right that we all have to vote and for me to be here uh, with these, with uh, my fellow commissioners uh, administering this vote in, in Philadelphia. So thank you all. I wish you all um, a happy and safe weekend. There are no items remaining on the agenda. Thanks again.